September, a new state law will require public schools to provide free menstrual products in all gender bathrooms and at least one men's bathroom. Brookfield High School started the mandate early by placing a dispenser with tampons in a boy's bathroom. Yeah, but within minutes, that dispenser was ripped off the wall. NBC Kinetics' Briseida Londa Verde joining us live now in Brookfield with more details on that. Hi, Briseida. Yeah, good evening, Amber and Kevin. Now, we're told that the high school uh, principal sent a letter to families notifying them that within just 20 minutes of that tampon dispenser being placed, it was vandalized. Now, NBC Connecticut has not independently attained a copy of that letter. There is mixed reaction in Brookfield and surrounding towns after female hygiene products were placed in a boy's bathroom at the high school in town. There's never an excuse for vandalism, but I am a firm believer that tampons don't belong in the boy's bathroom. I think that um, people who have a certain gender, who identify with a certain gender, should be able to use the bathroom that they identify with, if, and if they need these products, they should have them. It's all part of a state law beginning in the fall of this year. Board of Eds will be required to provide free menstrual products in women's restrooms, all gender restrooms, and in at least one men's restroom for students in grades three through 12. The Brookfield superintendent said in a statement after the installation of the dispenser last week, it was ripped down from the wall. The school will continue to follow the law, which mandates where menstruation products are to be located. The school would not comment further on student discipline. One parent in town who wishes to stay anonymous applauds the high school for taking action and hopes more education regarding the topic will be discussed amongst families. I only hold the schools responsible to a point. It we're taught what we're taught, and if we're taught hate, it's going to come out in other places. So I commend the school for getting on top of the issue, for talking to the kids already about the incident and trying to put it in the right light. Again, school officials tell us they will continue to follow the law, which officially goes into effect September 1st. Live in Brookfield, Priscilla Verde, NBC Connecticut News. Back to you.